Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Gerard. Sometimes we have our own little personal laws or superstitions which make life miserable. When the Pharisees gathered together to him with some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem, they saw that some of his disciples ate with hands defiled, that is unwashed. And the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with hands defiled? Now first of all, something about the law and the tradition of the elders. For Jews and all Jews followed this. The first thing, the law was the Ten Commandments. And then the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch. But around the 4th to 5th century, there were these men called the scribes who want to live it more in detail. But what do they do? They built this up into hundreds and thousands of little, little laws which they felt they needed to live. Okay, you want to live it yourself, it's all right. But slowly they started imposing it on other people, as you have it in this case. In this case, you have the washing of hands. Now, what was the washing of hands for? Not just for hygienic reasons, but for ritual purity. And so before every meal and even in between the courses of the meal, they had to wash their hands. And they needed special water kept in the stone water jars because the water had to be clean for washing of hands. And they had this kind of system. First of all, they dusted their hands of any sand. Then they placed their hands somewhat facing upwards, the fingers facing upwards and let water pour down up to the wrist. And then they wiped their hands with the water still on it. But now what happened? The water got unclean because of the unclean hand. So once again, water had to be poured. Now the fingers facing down and water was poured once again. There was also a rule about how much water was the minimum that needed to be poured on the hands. So you see, they made life quite miserable for themselves, but imposed it on other people. But now what about us? Sometimes we have our own little laws, our own little rituals, or some kind of superstitions which we need to look into. I know some people that if they are saying their prayers and they've reached somewhere in the middle of the prayer and dreamt off a little, they will need to start again. And this keeps happening, starting again and again. I know some people until they've kissed all the statues in the church are not satisfied. I know some people, at least one or two persons, this one person at least, that Whenever this person has something important to do, has to phone his auntie and his auntie needs to pray. And if auntie has not prayed, he is not satisfied and feels that job will not be done right. What is the rituals? What is the laws that you have made, these petty laws, which may be making your life miserable? Let us pray. God, Heavenly Father, we ask you to give us a grace, Lord, that we don't just live by laws, our own man, human-made laws, but live by the spirit that you have given us. Free us, Lord, from our laws, human-made laws, to live for you alone. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.